everyone and welcome back to the channel today as you can see from the title we are doing an apartment build and this apartment is built at i think it says 17 culpepper house um so yeah that's where this one's built it's like in the spice district area which is my favorite part of san Marcino to build in so yeah um as you can see like the video started before i really or the video started like after I had already built the like entrance area and you know all the walls and stuff are kind of up already um I actually was just building this uh for myself um and then I was like you know what might as well turn on and record um while I'm here so that's why you didn't see like the beginning but there's really not that much to see it was just like the closet um, at the front uh, like entrance area and then the stairs that go up and then I just did like a little half wall just so it wouldn't feel so closed off um, and then I just wanted some like brick accent walls so I just put a brick accent wall on this side and then there's another one um, on the opposite side of the apartment so yeah that's pretty much all I did um, before I started recording and then I decided to record because I thought why not you know I'm already here and um, I had a feeling, sometimes I just like get a feeling while I'm building that I'm gonna like what I, what I'm doing. Cause sometimes that doesn't happen for me. Like sometimes I'm like, I don't think this is gonna turn out, but, um, for this one, I felt like I was gonna like it. So, um, yeah, I decided to record and here we are. Uh, it's not a big apartment. Um, so I just did a one bedroom, one bathroom, uh, apartment. So that's what this is. Uh, I want to try and get um, like a cottage build or something out. Uh, I've been wanting to do that for a while now. There's some CC that I downloaded by somebody I hadn't actually seen before. So I wanted to use their CC inside of like a cottage sort of build. I'm not sure. I also haven't done like any ranch builds on this channel. So I also wanted to do that. So I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. But um, for sure, I want to do a sort of like rustic -y, sort of like cottagey vibe kind of build. Because um, the CC that I really liked that I saw was from uh, a CC maker named, I think their name's Valia. And they have like this really beautiful cottage like kitchen set that they came out with. It's like a two part set. So. Um, the first part I'm pretty sure is like the actual kitchen like counters and cabinets and things like that and the second part of the set comes with like baking um, items and like this really nice island uh, so yeah it's just like uh, like kitchen clutter items and stuff that looks like your sim's been baking so I want to do like some kind of build where like a baking like someone who's a baker um, lives there I feel like I don't often do builds for like culinary careers and things like that so I don't know it was just something that I saw and I was like it looks really cute and nice so I wanted to try and use that and they also I think have they have like a couple sets out I think um another one was a like a living room set that looked really nice as well so I might use both of those um for the kitchen and the living room and then do a build with that so yeah, I'm hoping to try and get that done at some point, but yeah, I have a bit of, I have like a couple ideas in my head that have been swirling around for a little bit um, of different like builds and stuff that I want to do. I built like this room with the, with like really bright orange couches and these really tall like wood windows and like a whole bunch of plants and everything everywhere and like mood lighting and candles and stuff and it looks so cute um but i didn't like build anything off of it i was just kind of goofing around and i built like a random room on an empty lot and i didn't continue it but i was like i need to build something that has this kind of vibe and aesthetic to it because i really enjoyed the way that looks so um i think that would suit like Selva Dorada really well, like somewhere that has like a lot of greenery and things like that. So I might do a build there for that kind of like really bright, colorful, um, lots of woods and, um, you know, cozy vibes like that. And then I think um, I want to do the sort of like country, like cottagey vibes. And I still haven't done a ranch build, so I want to do that as well. So I think those are like the three that I'm thinking about um, recently, but I also 
have just been doing some like apartments and uh, smaller houses and stuff like that so yeah I also have like a build that has been done for like a couple months now um, it's a Victorian build which I personally don't enjoy building Victorian houses not because I don't like the style of them because I think they're really beautiful um, especially in real life but they're just really difficult to build in the sims just because of the way the you know the sims works and how the roofing works and railings and things like that and victorian builds are obviously very like decorated and intricate and it's kind of difficult to capture the exact way that they're structured and built in real life especially when it comes to like railings and balconies and uh roofing so they tend to be um builds that i kind of avoid just for that reason but i do have a build um that i've done and i did it in strangerville and i liked the outside of it like i really loved the way it turned out on the outside but i just cannot figure out <laughs> like a floor plan that i think is decent and works with the space so yeah i don't know if you can hear that like grumbling it's my dog he's he doesn't want to be in here anymore so he's kind of grumbling at the door but um yeah so yeah I built that house and I, I yeah I just haven't uploaded it because I I'm really dissatisfied with the way that the inside turned out and it's not even fully furnished it's also massive I think that's probably also a reason why I haven't um you know furnished and uploaded it because it's a really big house um, but I just don't like the floor plan and I, I've redone it like a couple of times. I, you know, left it alone and I came back to it, um, to see if maybe like, you know, stepping away for a little bit and not staring at it for so long would help. But every single time I go back to it, I just can't figure it out. So yeah, I don't know. I know that like in real life, Victorian houses can be like a little bit higgledy piggledy and like, you know they don't have the perfect floor plans because they've been changed over time or just the way that they functioned um at the time that they were built was different to like modern times now so i know it's not going to be like you know they're not always like efficient floor plans basically but um i want to make it efficient so that it's nice to play in but i don't know i'm not sure if that's ever um gonna see the light of day but <laughs> i do have that um already kind of you know the outside and the landscaping built but I also kind of thought about just maybe doing like a tour video of it and then um leaving it up to you guys to furnish um I think that might be fun I don't know if you guys would like that um it'd be kind of cool to like upload just like what I've done with like the outside of the lot and then have it you know like remove all the walls and everything that I've done so far and then just have you guys um make your own insides and like floor plans and furnish it and then do tours like a tour video of what you guys have done i think that'd be kind of fun but i don't know if anyone would be down for that or um if you guys like to furnish builds and things like that because i know some people who watch um builders on youtube it's they watch them because they download the lots and stuff because they don't like to build and furnish houses so i don't know if it's the same for you guys but um yeah i don't know just something that I thought about but yeah um I didn't talk that much about this apartment other than it's you know a one bedroom one bathroom but it's a pretty straightforward apartment I went with a lot of um oranges and greens and kind of darker richer uh wood tones um I just I don't know I was in kind of an autumny mood I guess um it's a very autumn colored uh build but yeah I was just kind of in the mood for something um, moody and colorful because um, that's kind of the style that I like in real life so that's what I went for in here but yeah uh, there's not that much time left on this video it's a it's a fairly short one I am going to be on vacation probably when this comes out I think I think if I schedule it properly um, and I'm able to get it out when I want to I should be away with my family and some friends so uh, when I get back Hopefully I can get to those other builds that I was talking about earlier, but yeah, for now I hope you guys enjoy this video and as always the download link will be in the description and uh, the CC will also be linked in the description for this build and I hope that you guys enjoy. 
and I will see you all next time. Bye.